how do you install and play Insane Craft? Well, let's find out after you hit the like button because the like button can turn on like a light bulb and you should hit it. What? Too soon? Okay, so this is gonna be a very quick and short video. We're just gonna explain how to install it. You have to install CurseForge from their website and it's pretty simple. Um, so just click on download for Windows. If you're on Windows, it works as well. If you work on Mac, well, it works on Mac as well, I'm pretty sure. So you can just download it on whatever platform you want. Now, after you've done that, you just go to the bottom left of your screen. You double click on the thingy, it opens it all up, and then you just continue on with the installation like you see on screen. It's pretty simple. Now, after you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the first link in the description I have down below. So when you click on the first link in the description, which is the Spark Link Insane Craft Mod Pack, what it will do is it'll bring you to a redirection link to CurseForge. Now, what, what you'll see up here to the top right is a little install button. Now, what you do is you press this and then it'll open up CurseForge where you click on open CurseForge here. Now once you do that it'll install it'll install InsaneCraft and just plop it right on the front here or probably in the last place here and it'll take about 20 minutes depending on how fast your internet is. So bear that in mind. So after you've installed it all you have to do is click on play and it'll launch the game up. However, before you do launch your game, it is recommended that you do something, and that is to go into this profile, click on the three dots up here, go into the profile options, untick use system memory settings, and then maximize this as far as you can, but do not go over your computer's limit in RAM. If your computer has less than 8 gigabytes of RAM, it's recommended to only allocate around about 5 gigabytes to the game to leave enough memory for the system to run. So to find out how much you have, it's pretty simple. All you do is you go down to here, you go to control panel, you go to system and security, system. It'll open up this page over here, which I'll have everything blurred, and it says installed RAM, and for me it says 32 gigabytes, which for reference, on this page, that means 32,000 megabytes. So I have 32,000. 1,000 megabytes equals one gigabyte. If you have eight gigabytes, your computer's maximum is 8,000 megabytes, and you shouldn't go near that limit. If you see this screen here where it says memory use, total and Mojang stuff, all of that should be entirely fine and normal. Uh, in fact, if occasionally it doesn't respond, that is also normal. Just let it load and it should load all 265 mods in the mod pack and it should be absolutely fine. As long as your system is capable of running this, I'll have a minimum requirements or minimum specs in the description down below, just below both of the links you're going to need for this mod pack. Okay, so the game is now loaded, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a new world and we're going to put it in creative. And if you want to be in survival, that's fine. Make sure that the cheats is set to on because if you want your friends to join or anything, we're going to need this to be set to on temporarily. Now, this new world, what we're going to be calling it is we're going to be calling it tutorial and then we're going to go to create new world. OK, so now that you're in the actual game and everything is loaded, you have to do a couple of simple commands before you have this invite friends option next to open to LAN in the pause menu. What you have to do is you have to type in slash essential and press enter. Now what will happen is it will come up with a load of options. It will come up with a menu. Now it says here invite friends add an extra button to in the pause menu allowing essential friends to join your world. Now what this will do is basically you'll be able to invite any one of your friends to your single player world. So you don't have to pay for a server like I did have to for my previous videos, but you would have a free server on your PC, but for this you're going to need a lot more memory. Now a lot of these things are just a load of other settings that you're going to need and I would recommend putting this to green so that when you go to your pause menu you have this invite friends thing. Now the second thing that you have to do is add friends, which in this friends little tab on the left, you just click the plus and the new friend up here and for instance, I don't know, I want to add Sunday as a friend or something. You can actually type in Sunday and then it will send a friend request to Sunday on 
the essential app which is basically you can invite any one of your friends to any one of your worlds, which I'm actually going to cancel this because otherwise he can join my world. Okay, so once that is done, all you have to do is invite some of your friends over to play and have a little bit of fun with them. And that is what I have done in this later clip. Are you not going to respect your PC? What about my PC? My PC is largely capable of this. Well, we're gonna all have some fun, and when you can load up your game, we can all have some fun together. I don't really think you'll be able to load up the game. I'm literally I'm gonna mute. So. I don't think you'll be able to okay. load up the game. Why could, what, can we just do like a later version with less of one? Well, this is a very popular mod pack, so... Yeah, people <laughs> with RTX 3090s, uh... 50 million i7s probably inside. Like, <laughs> 15 I, I, million core i7s in their computer. They're just actually, like... No, never mind. Uh, Horizon 9s. There you go. Yeah, that, Horizon 9s and Intel Core i9s, you know, just both in one system. Yeah, but about 57,000 uh, RTX 3090 Ti's. Like, that's nothing new. Jesus, man. That's a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff there. A lot of power, man. And you can get it for free on eBay. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, hang on. You can get it free for on eBay? Damn, I need to see the seller reveals, man. <laughs> Marcus. Help. Help. Are help. You stuck down there? Help. I can't oh move. <laughs> I can't move. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm I do coming, not I'm like coming. where I'm going. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my goodness me! Uh, you're in a bit of a sticky situation there, my friend. I, I'm, I'm trying to drive. <laughs> oh crap! I, I effed up, didn't I? Okay, right there we go. Uh, torches work. <laughs> torches seem to, to. Oh, you gave me fabric of reality. I can help you out of this. I, I'm so. I'm just. So... Oh, right, oh. get on that. Oh, no. <laughs> you went for a bit of a sticky dip in then, didn't you? Okay, light blue shimmering mushrooms. Oh! <laughs> Did you just jump into the lava? That is a lava fish! <laughs> 